I'm going to show you how you can play better golf in three very easy steps and get this, you don't have to change your technique at all. So the first thing we're going to talk about is club selection. It's so easy for golfers, certainly if you play the same golf course all the time, to get onto a tee and just without even thinking, automatically picking the club that you hit every week, setting up and hitting it, and then being surprised it's not the outcome you'd want. Because guess what? Every day is different. The tee might have changed. The pin would have changed on the green. It might be more towards the front of the green, more towards the back. The weather conditions. If it's cold, the ball doesn't travel quite as far. If it's warm, it might travel a little bit further. And also, outdoor factors like wind and rain, they also have an effect on the outcome of your golf shot. So number one is make sure you consider the shot you've got in hand regardless of how many times you've played that hole. So the first thing to look for is your distances. So whether you use a range finder, or whether you use a GPS watch, or whether you're even using the markers just off the tee, or a course planner, work on those little aspects. And every golfer watching this video can get better at this. So for example, the middle of the green here on my watch is 160 yards. The pin is now towards the back though, and I know the back of the green is 178 yards. So from this tee right here today, the pin is playing around about 175 yards. Now that's very different if that pin was at the front. I mean, I could be playing it as short as 145 yards. We're talking 30 yards difference. We're talking three clubs difference. So once I now know the distance to the flag, I'm now gonna factor in the weather conditions. Now, luckily today, it's not windy, but it is quite cold. We're getting towards the back end of the year. So the ball's not gonna travel quite as far. So for me, I'm gonna hit a fairly solid seven iron, which I know I hit my seven iron around about 178 yards. So I think if I hit a really solid one of these today, this will get me perfect. But things to consider, don't just go in automatic mode. Make sure that you know what you're looking for, know what your distances are, know what shots you want to hit. Then you can stand on the tee with more confidence and hit the shot you want to be hitting to get close to the flag. And that way you will hit it much, much closer. If we have a little zoom in on that, that's pin high, just a fraction to the left, but I'm delighted with my distance control there. Right, let's get on to the next stage. Okay, number two, and we've actually come on to a different hole now. This is the 18th hole at Marriott Worsley Park. It's a par five. So for me, I'm still gonna do what I talked about in number one. I'm still gonna not just presume or predict it's driver off the tee. Now I must admit, on a long hole like this, it probably is driver off the tee for me. So I will hit driver. But what we're gonna talk about next is something very important that I think too many golfers overlook. And again, it's you have to change technique for this. Now I would use this technique for two things. One, if it's windy. Two, if you have quite a, a big shot shape, whether that's a left to right shot shape or a right to left shot shape. And it's picking a point to aim at. So if I'm stood behind the tee here now and I've got this kind of fairway inside and there's rough left, bunker left, bunker right, trees left, trees right, it's very easy just to aim at nothing. And there's a saying, if you aim small, you miss small. Make sure you aim at something off the tee, it's so important. So for me, my target line, in fact, it's almost irrelevant aim talking to you on camera here, there's a tree that's sticking out right in the background, way, way in the distance, that's in line with where I want the ball to start. Now it's too far away, it's probably 800 yards away, that tree. So I need to bring that target back closer to me. So I'm gonna bring it back and draw a line all the way back to my ball. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick a point that's much closer to me. So easy to do this. And there's a little leaf here, just a little one. I know if I aim just to the right of that leaf, that is aiming exactly where I want the ball to go. That's if I'm hitting a straight shot, if I'm just trying to hit it straight as I can, which obviously isn't always gonna be the case. Now, alterations on this, things that you can change. One, let's say it's windy. Let's say, for example, the wind is off the left-hand side of the hole here. I want to start the ball more down the left to allow the wind to bring it back. 
So this time when I'm picking my point, I'm gonna point, choose a point of reference more to the left of the fairway, which again would aim me in the right direction. Likewise, if the wind's coming off from the right. And then the other time you would change your starting location of where you want to aim is if you shape the ball. Let's say you slice it, let's say you hook it, it's all right. As long as you're starting the ball on the right line, don't start it straight and slice it right or start it straight and hook it left. If you do slice it, aim left, it's okay. It's not perfect, but it'll get you around. It'll help you play better golf. And that's the idea of this video, to help you play better golf without changing your technique. So pick a point that's much closer to you. Set up to that point to have your club behind the ball, set up to that leaf just in front of you, which is much, much easier to do instead of aiming to the trees all the way in the distance, then you at least know you're aiming straight. And as a result, I hit a very nice one. I started it straight and it just drifted back slightly to the right, but we are still in the fairway. Let's talk about number three next. It's very important, this one. So before we come to this last point, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you smash like, hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos. I think this video is gonna help a lot of golfers around the world. It's just very simple. Right, last point, number three. See, so too many golfers stand on the tee and not have the correct mind thought in their heads. It's very easy, I understand that, I've got guilty of it in the past, but to think negatively, to think, don't hit it, in the trees, don't hit it out of bounds, don't go in the water. And all of those don'ts don't work, basically. You'd be so surprised what the mind remembers. Try this technique, this is much better. And I got this from a good friend of mine, Lee Crumble Home, who's a sports psychologist. Stand behind the ball and ask yourself one question. What does a good shot look like? And when you can see that good shot, like literally see it, as if it's a shot tracer, as you see on TV or as you see in these videos, that you've just hit straight down that hole. Imagine that's the shot you're about to hit and keep replaying that in your head, replaying it, replaying it, replaying it, remembering what a good shot looks like. It's amazing what it does to your confidence. Stand up to the tee and without too much thought and that positive reinforcement in your mind, what does a good shot look like? You know what to do and then pull the trigger. And absolutely nail it. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I know that's gonna help a lot of golfers. I really do. Very simple ways to help you play better golf without changing your technique. We'll see you next time.